When Aljar Schwartz was just 17 years old and in grade 11, he beheaded a 15-year-old student, Lee Adams, at an abandoned school in Ravensmead, South Africa. Schwartz lured the younger boy there with a promise they would smoke daga or marijuana together. It was October 2013. When he finished, he took the head home in a bag, hid it, and sat to eat dinner with his family. He later buried it in the yard and a security guard would find Lee at the school. At one point, Schwartz tried to shift blame away from himself. He said it was his friends who chose the victim and the location of the killing. Then he claimed to be a follower of Satan at the time of the murder. His lawyer then requested the court allow Schwartz to be exercised to prove that the devil made him do it. He would claim all manner of things for that hearing. He was Abaddon, the angel of death. He was promoted to chief of demons and quote, I was just a vessel and they, the demons used me to commit a crime end quote. Believe it or not, the exorcism would happen though it appears it was never court sanctioned. Pastor testified at sentencing and not at trial that Schwartz was under the influence of demons when he did what he did. He claimed to have exorcised the demons and that after the exorcism, Schwartz became a devout Christian. The court found the priest was neither objective nor reliable. The murder has been extremely difficult for Lee's family. It didn't help Schwartz's shenanigans, his lack of any sign of remorse, his lack of compassion, Psychiatrists diagnosed a psychopathic personality and put Schwartz at very high risk of reoffending. So it wasn't if it wasn't the devil that made him do it, what did? Well, it was money. He planned to sell the child's head to a Sangoma for five thousand Rand. He said he'd heard that in some places people with albinism were killed for body parts, which is a gruesome and terrible truth. A Sangoma practices an ancient philosophy based on beliefs and ancestral spirits called Ngoma. They're more than shamans, they're also priests and prophets. Though this was Schwartz's plan, he was unable to find any Sangoma willing to buy such a thing, for obvious reasons. Normally a client approaches a Sangoma and explains whatever problem or issue they want help with. The Sangoma then decides what material might be needed. Sometimes this involves what has become known in parts of Africa as muti murder. Even where a muti murder is committed, it would not be done in the fashion that Schwartz committed his grisly and horrific crime. The court expert would say that even if Schwartz had this plan, he committed the crime because, well, he's a psychopath and not because he was seeking any sort of help. In August 2016, Schwartz was sentenced to 22 years in prison on one count of murder and three counts of incitement to commit murder. Thank you for listening. If you're enjoying these videos and you want to see more, please click the subscribe button and hit those notifications so that you don't miss any uploads. We appreciate you. Thanks.